my name is Tony Leggett and I am the, I have the honour to be the chair of the uh, award committee for the Cuspia Prize in Science and Technology. Uh, since some of you are probably not familiar with Cuspia, let me um, give a short introduction. There are rather few um, actions nowadays, I think, which we can be sure not merely look good now, but are going to look good in 50 or 100 years time. But I think one action which will most certainly stand the test of time is going to be the initiative of Professor T.D. Lee in uh, founding the Cuspia program in 1979. After the uh, end of the Cultural Revolution in China, um, things were, of course, very confused and disorganized in many areas of life. In many cases, they're not actually taken any exams because of the Cultural Revolution. And therefore, application to universities abroad um, simply did not have um, academic records which could be used in this connection. At this point, uh, Professor T.D. Lee, the Nobel Prize winner in physics, um, came to the rescue and set up the Cuspia program. Uh, students who wished to apply to U.S. universities could take a special set of examinations and be assessed in a, uh, a, a special way and therefore get around the normal uh, application process. And uh, this actually had uh, collaboration from a very large number of universities, both on the uh, Chinese and American side, and uh, resulted in the, um, uh, in uh, something like 900 students from China uh, doing their doctorates in uh, U.S. universities in the period um, between uh, 1979 and 1990. This program had a huge influence on both um, you know, U.S. and Chinese um, physics. Uh, we at uh, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, my, my own university, had 18 um, Cuspia students, of whom uh, I had three, and I still uh, keep in touch with them. In fact, I actually co-authored a, a paper with two of them recently, and the third is very active in US industry. Uh, it was almost unparalleled um, in the history of, of science. And those were indeed rosy days. Um, alas, nowadays I'm afraid the picture is not quite so rosy. In particular, I, I feel that um, young students going into any branch of science, not just into physics, these days are faced with a very tough um, situation. Um, on the one hand, uh, the prospects of uh, international collaboration or being able to even to study for your, for your doctorate abroad have been much reduced because of the unfortunate political tensions um, in, the, in the current situation. Um, but I think there's another difficulty too, which is that um, because of the enormous expansion in access to higher education throughout the world over the last uh, few decades, the enormous um, competition for uh, jobs in academia, and therefore people feel that even at a very early stage it's essential to be able to publish, publish a lot, and publish in so-called high-impact journals. One problem with this, this is that you, you get um, a credit uh, for publication of original research, no, or not much credit, for the publication of review articles or popular outreach. This is where um, the graduates of the Cuspia program have come to the rescue. The, um, the people who enjoyed the benefits of the Cuspia program in the um, 80s, the last um, century, most of them are at a fairly advanced stage in their careers, and they have very generously got together to form the Cuspia Foundation for Science and Technology. And that foundation has decided to award the Cuspia Prize for Science and Technology. 
this prize will be given for quote, young scientists in all scientific fields um, who have made um, outstanding communications and collaborations across borders. So they are precisely emphasizing, first of all, the need not just to do a first class research, but also to communicate it effectively to others, including the general public, and moreover, to encourage as far as possible collaborations across uh, borders. There is an official uh, prize award and I am. The first award, the first Cusper Prize, will be given in 2021. There is by now an a, um, award a committee set up for it and I have the honour uh, to be its chairman and the honour of introducing it to you. Thank you.